in the context of the show, was our storyline a bit different from the rest of the show? Because it's yeah, right. Like it did feel you had an ice skating rink for your character. Nobody else had an ice skating rink. <laughs> Lana and Clark never went to an ice skating rink. They they went to like a field or a, or something else. But like we went to no, Vegas. you were your character was singled out for sure. Yeah, we went to Vegas. We got married in Vegas. Like that's I liked the darkness too of my character. Like we're talking about the innocence, but then they also went the distance with it. And yeah, I- call back again to Beeman, who was there. You know what I mean? Like. You can't do wrong with Beeman because he's gonna he's gonna guide you. You're safe with Beeman, and I think that that whole Vegas hotel room thing. I don't think we could have done that if Beeman wasn't there. You know what I mean? Like he's he's got your back. Could there be any more sex? <laughs> That's the most ever we've seen. I mean, it was just non. It was incessant. It was like I was. I. It's not like I didn't like it. I, I mean, it was fine. But I just noticed it was like, wow, they're, they they continue to I, what was probably a quarter of a page turned into a three page makeout scene that just kept going. And I was like, good Lord, we get it. They have chemistry. Sarah, did you think and- you were going to become a regular on the show? Did they ever talk about how much they liked you? And they're like thinking about maybe writing something in where you're more of a uh, regular character? No, I mean, they did. Definitely say, you know, you're coming back and we love you. And I actually got this sweet certificate from Warner Brothers saying that I was the favorite guest star of all time. So, you know, it was something really wow. special. It, it let me, I mean, it's true that the, I'm still kind of recognized for my little part on Smallville. People were affected by crazy Alicia. That's what you think when you watch it. You're like, it's crazy Alicia, crazy Alicia. And then, right. oh, wait a minute. She's got a backbone. She's got, you know, she's uh, she's different from the others. And I, I did like that a lot. Um, was that something you talked to the writers about? Did you want to have something else Did you, if you're going to come back? It was in the writing. This was definitely a role that felt, like I said, um, like something that I I understood the depths of and Maybe I brought something more to it. Who knows? But it was like all of those moments were there. Uh, They wrote a love story. They wrote a story about two young people who felt truly seen and safe to be all of themselves with each other. And they'd never had that. I mean, it really is as simple as I, I remember falling in love, you know, in my early 20s and feeling like, oh, my God, this is the this is it. This is the person I want to be with for the rest of my life. And then you realize, oh, no, this is just young love. This is just. Isn't that funny how you know, everybody has a memory of like that deep love or that something that they felt that they just it's almost like doing ecstasy the first time. Not that <laughs> I do it a lot. No, I do. And, like tw- and then you learn from it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you crash. <laughs> Never want to do it again. <laughs> But like when I first, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I guess they could say like heroin addicts. They say that first time you're always, you know, chasing that high. I wouldn't know. But like, you know what I mean? That's my analogy is like sort of like, you know, when that happens, do you ever really feel like that again? And it's rare. And like to have that chemistry on set, like in a sort of fake world um, is just is rare too. Sarah, I just think you you're able to tap into what I think Clark was going through at the same time of being able to reveal these intimate things that of acceptance that he hasn't been able to have. And I just remember acting with you where it was just like, I could just listen and I could just be there. And there was no, there was no like rush. There was no, there was no timing to it. We were just talking to each other. And I think the characters fell into that so well. And I really enjoyed it. And by the way, going back to what Michael just said, No one in the history of the world has ever woken up and said, no human has ever said this, that no one has ever woken up the next day and said, I'm so glad I did all those drugs last night. No one has ever said that. No, no, they haven't. (laughs) Ever. I think that's where we, you know, on many levels, I think you and I connected, especially with, with the characters. We're just, 
your character was in the same, he just, they just want to be seen, like you said before, and accepted. And I think that it was just fun to be with you. Thanks. It was, it was so fun to be with you, too. Um, I was thinking about that comment about, you, you know, there's no human being who has woken. <laughs> so, they're so glad you did all those drugs last night. I was trying to equate that to love, like, you know, kind of full circle and um, the kind of the kind of love that these two characters had, you know, it's it's amazing how destructive it is. Like, and I wonder how human that is, how, that it can actually make you crazy and ruin your life. One of the moments I remember Rod said was feeling like I wasn't allowed to talk to you out, outside of shooting. And I, that was really surprising. Like there was a... <laughs> there was a boundary held and I, yeah, I felt like, oh, wow, am I like, am I dangerous? Because I was really, I was young. We were young at the time. And so it was the, one of the first roles I'd had where I was managing that kind of chemistry that you're, you know, it's like it is make-believe. We are cultivating this love this energy this kind of sexual chemistry and I was doing my job and then I remember like somebody saying basically like keep it keep it on set keep and it I, professional keep it professional like they fuck they said was it Steve was it Steve People it was drunk. somebody on the crew it was like it was <laughs> second AD or something that can't and so I've I've always been curious about that moment so I'm bringing it up now, but yeah, it was it was um, a formative moment for me where I was like, "Wow, I'm dangerous." 